I realized that the number one problem besides anger, anger is the number one, but the second number one is that around the world, because everybody have the same problem, everyone. Situation, situations may be a little different, but it's the same problem. Really, every human being on this side of heaven have the same problem. And the problem is they live in the thought world. You live in the thought world. And in the thought world, there is no solution to anything. It's only hell. You're living here rather than here. And so while living here, you're going around in a circle looking for answers and thinking that the next person is going to be the best. The next marriage is going to work. Oh, I need to have some children. I need to get married, make children. That'll work. You just believe in lies. My first relationship didn't work. I'm going to go and find a better woman, a church woman, or a church man. You're in this thought world, and that thought world is the animal world. And that's why human beings act like animals. You treat, we have no business treating each, each other the way we treat each other. We were created in the image of God, right? But you live in a thought world, and you trust the thought and not the consciousness, not the mind of God. You are addicted to the thoughts. And we all are until we start to see and start to overcome them. When I say that all thoughts are all lies all the time, I had no idea how deep that was. All thoughts are really. And some of the horrible stories I've heard around the world from all races that the thought can make you do is mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. And you ask people, ask, why did you do that? Or why did you say that? Why were you think? I don't know why I did it. They literally don't know why they did that. Because they're not paying attention to the thought world. You must overcome the thought world. The thought world is evil. It's evil. My, my producer, Sean, gave me some information on it. It says something like the smarter you are, what, what does it say, Sean? You're talking about addiction? Yeah. Yeah, there's a correlation between um, IQ and addiction. So yeah. the higher your IQ, the more chances you'll get into an addiction. And the lower your IQ, the higher chance you'll get out of an addiction. Now, do you understand why they want to legalize drugs? Because these people are educated people. And they think what they're doing is the right thing because inwardly they want power. They want control. And so the devil is telling them that what you're believing and what you're thinking is good. Make yourself feel good. Feel like you're doing something to help. And you're not. The thought world is, is the wall that you got to climb over. You got to climb over that wall. And the way you do it is constantly keep your eyes on the thoughts, on the not you. And, and just watch them come and go. And sometimes they'll fall into the emotions. And when they fall into that emotion, just know it's not you. It's not real. The thought world is like falling into hell. When you fall into emotions, you fall into hell. Have you noticed that? Yeah. And then you get a false sense of happiness. And then as soon as you feel it happen, you fall down. You feel bad again. You're upset. And nobody and nothing going to save you except you overcome the thoughts. It ain't going to work. You might well hang it up. You could get married 18 times. You can marry an older woman or an older man. You can have all the money in the world, but until you overcome the mind of the devil, because that's what the thoughts are, is that you're never going to be free. You are not going to have peace until you stop believing a lie. And all about yourself and about other people. And the one thing I want you to know, when you do, and some of you are, I can tell, <laughs> when you do start waking up, the world going to turn against you. Your mama, your daddy, your so-called friends, your wife, your husband, they will turn against you because the darkness hate the light. The darkness hate the light. They may not realize that they're looking at the light in you, but Satan does. And so I want you to know when that happens, 
let them go because they'll destroy you. Really, if you give in to darkness, just as it's doing you on the inside, it will, they will destroy you too. Do not hang around evil people. I don't care who it is. And if they want to leave, you wish them well. Don't be mad. They're doing you a favor. And this whole, and it's happening with everybody. I'm telling you, with family members. I never thought that family members could be so cruel to one another. It's not them. It's the same spirit. And you hear the government and others talk about they want peace. They don't want peace. They don't want it because they don't have it on the inside. They don't want it. Worldwide, there is no peace because of the hell that's happening inside. But it's all for, from the thoughts. So what I recommend is that you keep paying attention to the truth, hearing the truth, welcome the truth to come in, and the truth will fight it for you, it, especially if you welcome that truth. And what happens is when the, uh, the devil hates you, and so when you start welcoming the truth inside of you, he's going to get on the run. He's going to go crazy in your head and crazy in your body because he doesn't want the truth to happen. And it's going to feel like you having a fit. It's going to feel like, like fear. It's going to feel like very emotional in one form or another. But that's the truth that's trying to catch up and destroy the devil. But it feels like it's you, and it's not. So stop running. When that truth comes, relax, shake in your boots, and the light will destroy it. Really, because that's what's happening when you run away from it by getting mad at someone else or getting high or partying or getting drunk or making a phone call or finding another thought so you can feel better. You are running away from the truth. You're running away from the very same thing, the very thing that can save you from the hell. But you got to go to the truth and shake in it. And I promise you that you shall be saved from it. You will be saved from it. And stop lying to yourself. Even if you don't say it out loud, at least admit, wow, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Or I feel lonely. Or I feel this. Or this thing is in me, right? You feel that. That way you're not in denial about it, and then the truth can really help you too. But if you deny it, you don't have to tell the world, but at least be honest with yourself, the light will help you. It really will. Most people don't trust the light. They trust the thought in this circle that they live in. They trust the thought that says, oh, you need more money. You need a better job. You need to get married. You need this or you need that. It's lying to you. It really is lying to you. You need a spiritual rebirth. You need to overcome the abnormal nature to the normal nature, which is of God. Anyone that lives in their head and emotions have abnormal nature. So we need to be born into the normal nature, the natural nature, which is of God, and overcome the abnormal. That makes sense? Yes. Any questions about that? No? Yes, sir. And you can't make this happen, so let go and let it happen. You got to let it happen. If someone offend you, fine. If someone makes you scared or question it, who is this that's scared? What am I afraid of? You, anyway, it's going to be interesting to find out that up here, you were never afraid. Up here, you never had a problem. Up here, you're not a sinner or a saint. Up here, you are born again of the Father. You are the light. But because you live down here, unconscious, you don't know that. You don't know this, but if you stay with it, you'll come back to that. Yes, sir? How would you relay that message to a, like a young child, say 12, 10? Just tell them, keep it simple. Just tell them to drop the anger, don't be angry. Keep it really simple because uh, you don't want to put too much on them. Right. Tell them to forgive, you know, don't be mad at daddy or mama, and just don't be angry, and they'll grow into it. And plus, if it's your child, they'll start seeing the light in you if you have changed. They'll see it, and that will help them as well. Right. 
So right. by being example and keeping it simple. Yes, because God's ways are very, very simple. His ways are not complicated at all. They are so simple that you're not, you can't believe it. And a lot of these things that you're doing in life, all being busy, wasting your money, wasting your time, going here and there, it's going to fall away. It's going, because you're not going to be interested in all this stuff anymore. And then you look around in your closet and wonder, how did I waste all this money? <laughs> Only clothes and shoes and, and this big house where I only need a two-bedroom. You're going to see how much money you're wasting on ego nothing. And it's just dead material sitting there rotting away. But it will change. You can't change it. Yeah, thank you, man.